Hi guys, I hope you're all well. Today I'm back in my craft room and I'm here to talk to you about festival accessories, festival fashion, that kind of thing, how to accessorise for a festival. If you're wondering why I look kind of brown, it is because I've just come back from holiday. This is the first video I've filmed since I've come back from holiday, um, but my video one before last I want to say was on um, fake tanning and I'm running a giveaway so I just thought I'd quickly mention that as well um, so see that video it's the sun goddess tanning lotion video and you can enter to win some free fake tan and that runs out on Tuesday that is the last day you can enter so go <laughs> anyway on to the actual accessorizing of festivals I've been to quite a few now um, festivals. I went to my first one in 2007 and that was V Festival. Quite a tame festival in my opinion but still really really good. Um, so yeah, I've then gone on to like Glastonbury, uh, Secret Garden Party, I've done Wilderness as well and a bunch of other ones that I can't think of right now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what sort of things I like to wear. Okay, so one of the things I love to do at festivals is wear face paint and things like that just because where else can you wear like jazzy makeup and glitter and stuff and look like semi-normal? Um, but this year I've picked up some of these metallic tattoos which I think would be quite fun to wear. These were from Primark and were £1.50 and I can't wait to wear these. They're just like your normal transferable tattoos but they're actually pretty. They're like gold ones and I just think they're going to look really nice just like around your arm and on wrists, on your lower back, ankles, things like that just to kind of look a bit more kind of hippie-ish and bohemian. And then as I say I like to use face paints and glitter as well. I've got these rollable glitters which I picked up from Barry M quite a while ago. I think they still do them. Uh, I've got a blue one, the name's rubbed off, and a white one which doesn't have a name. So that's really helpful. Um, but as I say, they're rollable ones, so they just look like that on the end. You could just kind of roll them on where you want your glitter, which is quite handy. And I like those. Also got some loose glitters, again from Barry M. I've got this one, which is number two, pale gold, and it looks like this. Oh, so pretty. And then I have this silver one, which is number 15, silver. And again, pretty much the same thing. As you can see, they're loose. Um, I've somehow got glitter on me, even though they're not like open. And yeah, with this, you need to buy the Barium Fixing Gel, which looks like this. This one's a little bit like dried up and horrible. <laughs> but um, yeah, you basically just apply this where you, again you want glitter, a bit like glue, um, just to whatever areas. I really like having like um, stuff around my eyes and things and then just apply the glitter and that will help it to stick. I then have various face paints. I've got a gold which has seen better days to be honest, that's like nearly finished. A white. I'll just show you the box. Just a lot <laughs> of face paints. Um, so yeah, they're always handy just to like draw pretty things on yourself at festivals, up your arms, up your legs and your face and it just looks cool. I insert some clips of me sort of here, um, of me at festivals. There's me dressed as the white rabbit at Secret Garden Party. Um, Secret Garden Party is like one of these festivals where they have like a theme each year and people get like really dressed up, fancy dress, so that's why I look like that. Um, here I'm wearing some face lace, this stuff's really really cool. Um, it's by Phyllis Cohen who's like a makeup artist, she's dead fancy and um, they're like transferable like stick on kind of lace, it's really really pretty and I get so many comments every time I wear this to festivals. Here I've just kind of like thrown a load of gold face paint and body paint on myself. This theme again from Secret Garden Party was um, like Adam and Eve style, um, so hence all the gold and stuff. So yeah, things like transfers and um, glitter are really, really easy if you're not very artistic and things and don't really want to try and do like face paint because it can look either really, really good or really, really not good. So yeah, that's just a few options for you. 
Okay, so on to things you can wear, sort of accessory wise, that aren't makeup and glitter and things. Um, very, very easy, quick and simple one to do is a floral crown. I made this one myself. There is a tutorial under my playlist for like craft or something. It was really, really easy and quite effective. And it just instantly looks like festively, summery and just really, really cool. So a floral crown is pretty much like a bog standard staple really for a festival nowadays. You can pick them up at places like Primark and things like that. Or if you want more of a like high end one, if that makes sense. Uh, places like Crown and Glory do really, really nice ones and places like that, but if you're like me and you like doing DIY, they're really, really fun to make, really, really simple as well, so I will link my craft video to this tutorial down below as well. And then there's silly things like, I'm just going to show you things that I've worn to festivals which were fun. <laughs> things like this, like, you think it looks ridiculous now, but at a festival it's just like the norm. Everyone, particularly like Secret Garden Party, is just walking around and just imagine being in like a crowd with these on just like so cool although they are a bit funny with your hair but yeah I picked these up um, in a bar called Flares I got given them for my 21st birthday so yeah but they're always good to crack out for a festival I got things like feathers feathers look awesome I think personally at festivals I got this headband um, a few years ago from Primark and again just looks really really cool Apart from when your fringe goes like that. <laughs> Obviously if I was wearing this properly I would do a better job of it but as you can see like things like that look quite cool and sort of bohemian and pretty or maybe like braiding them into your hair as well is a good one. So things like that are fun. As well, oh my hair has gone really funny now. Oh, let's get this untangled. Um, I really like the sort of like bindi sort of like hair embellishment things um, and I made this out of an old necklace. It's an old necklace that was my mum's. It looks like this um, and then I just put two like hair grips onto it just because I could really and just kind of like slide them in to wherever you need them. I'm not going to put this on properly. And then instantly again, I think that just looks like really, really cool for a festival. So you could like pick up a necklace or something like this uh, from a charity shop, thrift shop, whatever you want to call it. Ugh. And then just stick some hair grips into it. And then, you know, you've got yourself like a really cool hair accessory for a festival and a lot, lot cheaper than buying one, like a proper one. Wear like random jewellery like this. I actually picked this up at V Festival from one of the stalls, and it's just this really cool like pearly beady like bracelet thing, and it's got like a big old bow on it. I just think it's really really cool and just just nice really. So that's another thing you could wear. Just like big statement bold jewellery always looks really cool. Another thing I like to wear, but it's probably just me kind of showing off, is like all of my festival like bands, you know, your wristbands. Um, I always like dig them out for festivals and basically stack them all on my arm. Um, this will be like my seventh year at Secret Garden Party, so I'll wear all my Secret Garden Party um, wristbands on my arm because I'm cool, but as you can see I've got this one's, this one's a V Festival one. Um, this one's Glastonbury 2012 and then pretty much the rest of them are a secret garden party but they just look really cool like hey I'm like festival goer yeah that's what I like to wear on my arms or if you really want to go to town you can buy a headpiece like I picked this one up that I'm about to show you at a festival and well it just speaks volumes for itself so I'll just show you Look how freaking awesome this is. I saw this at um, Secret Garden Party again and just fell in love and was like, I have to have that, it's so bloody cool. So I have like a giant old Indian headdress. But again, where else can you get away with wearing one of these? I literally just wear this to festivals and nothing else. I probably should like go to some kind of fancy dress party 
as an Indian. But um, yeah, it's just so freaking cool. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So yeah, it's it's a very big statement and it just looks cool. Oh, I just want to keep this on my head now, it's so comfy. But on to clothing, pretty much anything goes at a festival. I particularly love festival fashion and I try and get gradually more outrageous as the time goes on. And um, yeah, I will insert some clips here again of things that I've worn to festivals just because why the hell not? Again, going particularly back to Secret Garden Party, it is a place where you can just express your individuality and go crazy, so yeah, do it. <laughs> okay, so just in case you're going to like more of a box standard, kind of less outrageous festival, I particularly love wearing my Levi vintage high-waisted shorts. I just think these look freaking cool with wellies and just love them. They're black, got the Levi bit on the back and you can't go wrong with those. However, if you are going to a festival where it is fancy dress or a bit more kind of like, oh, let's wear random stuff because we can, or if you just fancy doing it anyway, I wear things like this. It's really cool, flowy, like sheer thing. It's like a really, like, it's almost like a duster jacket actually. Um, it's got arms like this, which are like three quarter length. And then it's super, 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 super long, as you can see. That's the end, and it goes all the way down. And then just kind of nips in at the waist. Oh no, not, yeah, at the waist, and then kind of buttons up around your boobs. And it's really sheer, and this reminds me of like uh, Florence from Florence and the Machine when she went to Glastonbury 2000, is it 2011? I'll insert again a clip here. But how freaking cool does she look here? Like, that's just like festival bohemian heaven right there. And then here's me wearing it in a really old blog post, but again, just freaking love it. I just think it's so cool. Um, and yeah, you just instantly look festival ready. Another good one, if you're not feeling quite that brave, are things like kimonos. I have this one from Primark and just florally like this. It did have longer tassels on, but I had to cut them off because my cat destroyed them. Um, it's quite long and you can just wear this with like a simple black dress or wellies or flip flops if the weather's nice enough and just like a floral crown and you're there like just looks awesome so yeah things like that as well are really easy to wear or if you want to go really jazzy which is what I like to do I've got these trousers yep these are pretty random trousers I must admit I can't remember where I picked them up it's either a holiday or at a festival, either or. So it's got like this top part, which is like really stretchy. Um, I suppose if you're short enough, you could wear it as like a top and make it into like a whole kind of thing, but I'm not. So I kind of wear this part around my middle and then the trousers kind of go super, super baggy and come off into these like little feet bits. But they are, they honestly look really, really cool and really hippie-ish and they are so comfortable because you can just stride in them and it's like wearing pyjamas, it's just amazing. I will insert another clip of me wearing them just so you kind of get a vibe of what they look like. Um, I'm wearing them here in Cyprus just because it was so bloody hot and I don't care. And then finally, we're gonna go on to sequins. I've got these leggings. <laughs> which I picked up in a charity shop for like two pounds or something. And again, these just look really cool at a festival. I love them. Although these ones particularly are a little bit itchy. Um, but as you can see, like they're really eye catching and just look freaking cool um, to wear at a festival. But if that is just not enough, then you could wear something like what I'm about to show you now, which I'm wearing to Secret Garden Party this year. And I'm a little bit scared at the minute because it's quite booby and yeah, but it's going to look freaking cool. Just go, go with it guys. You may hate it, you may love it, but basically, look at this, look how freaking cool this is. Ah, <laughs> this is um, a swimsuit from New Look. I didn't know that they did these, I don't know when they came out, but I found this on eBay 
and I just fell in love with the sequins. Look how pretty they are. I'm just in love. I have a thing, massive thing for sequins and yeah just oh but as you can see it's like really plunging um so yeah i may i don't know i'm gonna be like so booby in it but it's just gonna look so cool and then i'm either gonna wear it with like some shorts or maybe just completely brave it and just wear nothing on my legs or maybe like some tights or something and wellies and just some sunglasses and probably my floral crown and just rock this shit because it's freaking awesome look <laughs> some of you right now i'm sure are probably thinking you bloody mental person are you really gonna wear that but trust me trust me it's gonna look awesome so yeah that is what i would advise you wear to a festival be it makeup clothing or accessories those are the things that i would advise i've worn all of these things myself in previous years so it's not like I'm saying wear this and I would never be seen dead in it because I've already done it so yeah I'm thinking of doing another festival style video either like a lookbook which I don't know maybe or with like sequins and stuff doing some kind of like DIY like festival face paint or something because I think that would be quite cool so oh <laughs> so keep your eyes out for that and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!